Hello students, friends and colleagues. This is Dr. Singhal from Computer Science Department at El Camino College, Torrance, California. I want to talk about today garbage in, garbage out, popularly known as GIGO, more from the point of computer program. So basically I would like to talk about term or slash problem garbage in garbage out in cases where it manifests itself in writing computer programs. While there are many ways to describe Geiger phenomena in terms of output from computer programs, the definition in next slide would suffice. In general, of course, uh, garbage in garbage out means that if you put garbage into the computer in terms of data being garbage really then your output will be garbage but we need to be more specific than that when we write computer programs so we're gonna go with that so here's the definition when computer is fed garbage data on which certain output is based then the behavior of computer or its output becomes undefined and undefined behavior is considered garbage or garbage output. Okay, so it's undefined behavior. We don't know how computer is going to react and that's undefined behavior. Another definition of undefined behavior is that for same source code or program, the computer may behave differently on different operating systems or operating system and compiler combination. That's another example of garbage in, garbage out, or undefined behavior. Okay, we're gonna talk about case one of GIGO. The simplest case of GIGO is when computer is asked to do computations with one or more pieces of garbage data. Okay. So, for example, in next slide we show a program where computation with garbage data is attempted and that's the program here that finding a volume of a rectangular bo box with one side storing garbage. So we declare side A for the one side of the rectangular box. But notice programmer did not populate the memory location side A. Each variable declared here will be a memory location in the RAM. When you do math with computers, you don't do it like you do in the piece of, piece of paper. Your data is alive. It is alive in the RAM. So right here, nothing was put in. So this memory location in the RAM stores garbage. In this one, 10.0 was stored. So this one is not garbage. It has 10.0. And third one has 5.0 in it. Okay. And then what programmer expected computer to do is multiply these three sides, A, B, and C, and come up with the volume. Okay. But program is asking computer that uh, multiply garbage with 10 and 5 and then store it back to volume. Well, this program will produce different behaviors on different operating systems and compiler combinations because one of the data piece is garbage. And our results show and then we try to print it basically. And the result of previous program is that I ran this program, this one, and you can pause the video to look at it more carefully if you like. But this program was ran on Mac and Windows 7. On Mac it gave me volume of zero assuming that garbage stored in inside a variable side A was zero. 
but ironically enough on windows it gave me a volume of 10 to the power 263 assuming that side a was a very very large number and this is one exam classic example of gigo behavior that your same program which should show same result in all our operating system is going to show you different results okay so even though results should be same on all computers it is not because each computer processes garbage data differently and there's no defined behavior uh, for processing or multiplying numbers where one of the numbers is garbage okay let's take the case two a great way of doing mathematics certain way becomes poison pure poison when carried to computer programming and that great way of doing mathematics basically destroys the computer programs and we'll show you what that great way is all fields have some great ways to do things problem comes when naively it is assumed that this great habit will also be great in every field of human existence that is never the case alas it's not true we discuss in next slide okay this is the great habit mathematicians have writing down formula before plugging the numbers into it hey i did it myself it's a great great way to do math on paper only so mathematicians doing math on paper have a great habit of writing down formula first then get the numbers and then plug them in the formula to get the final results the above works beautifully on paper but when exact same exact same process in that order is repeated in computer programs it destroys the computer program basically let us show that in our mac compiler called xcode so we're going to go to xcode now here it is so here it is that of course if you don't define the three sides first like defining variable x y z uh, in the math doing math on the paper your program won't compile and program not compiling is, is a, actually a blessing because then you can find out what you did wrong. The problem comes when it compiles and runs and you get the garbage results. That's, that's a bad situation. So we define the three variables, side A, side B, side C, and like great mathematical habit, I'll write down my formula first. So I write down that volume equals side A into side B into side C, and then I'm gonna put in some value there side a equal to 1.0 b equal to 10.0 c equal to 5.0 and hey i gave computer the numbers he should computer should apply this formula the way i do on the paper myself and then it should print out the volume okay after plugging in these numbers all right well let's see what happens we are going to run this program well we ran the program and volume came out zero all of a sudden you're shocked. You say, hey, volume should have been 50. How come we, I get the zero? <clears throat> but the answer is very simple. When you applied formula on line 17, all three sides are garbage. And in Mac and Xcode, they're assumed to be zero. In some other computers, they may be totally different. Who knows? Okay, so computer was told to do calculation and apply this formula on line 17 and computer did that. Then you specified sides A, B and C, 10, 1, 10 and 5. The computer has no way of jumping back from line 20 back to 17. How Computer only process data from low line numbers to high line numbers. It will process this line, then this line, then this and this, and then this, and then this. It has no way of jump, 
it does not have enough intelligence to know that hey now I got some good values I, I should go back to line 17 and redo this computation it doesn't have the intelligence okay so what it does is whatever wa value of volume it, it determined here it just prints that here and that's why you get volume equal to zero this is a classic example of garbage in garbage out which geniuses of math commit because they don't take time to understand how math is done inside the computer okay and I have had a lot of very bright uh, math students in my classes and they just could not get rid of this habit okay they passed the programming class but as long as you are married to, to this habit you cannot do good computer programming because you will always end up asking computer to do computation as it did here with the garbage data okay so <laughs> the good way to do that would be that okay if you are determined to write the formula write down that as a comment here and then comment means computer is not going to read it and then you can do this and in that case you you'll come out with the right computation and it should be 50 yeah volume equal to 50 so now that is correct so if you must write down the formula before the values you're going to plug into the formula are available do it in a comment comment means computer is not going to read it do not tell computer to actually do it which is this okay that's the other case of garbage in garbage out and it's it boggles my mind how many students keep doing it even though they've been told many many times not to do it okay it just boggles my mind but that's naiveness basically okay so that was the second case of garbage in garbage out and we're going to review everything we did okay we already went through that conclusion one manifestation of garbage in and garbage out is the programmer telling computer to do computation with garbage data other is providing good data after the computation with garbage data is already completed computer executes program statements sequentially from low line number to high line number it does not have the intelligence to jump back to already executed instructions and redo them when good data becomes available downstream okay so those are the two cases i have identified uh, in written computer programs hopefully you will stay away from them Thanks from Dr. Singhal, El Camino College, Torrance, California. Thank you.